All right, here's the here's the, the here's the thing. Um, and it says on the side here, fragile, of course, Herman Miller. But oh, let me move that down a little bit. But it also says. Ugh, Change the game! Streamer! Streamer, change the game! Why won't you change? Also, it's, it's, they don't even hide it. It's like Logitech just was like, hey, can we throw, like, kind of like Ben Affleck did with Goodwill Hunting? He's like, can we throw our name on there? Can we throw our name on the, uh, on the Embody? Is that cool? Yeah, just, just throw my name on there. <laughs> uh, all right, so it is this side up. Got my switch blade, my trusty switch. Um, now we oh now we go down the side here. There we go. And you open the door. If there's enough room to open it, there we go. Almost. Almost there. Here, let me put the knife down. Uh, all right. There we go. And then flap one. Flap two. Ugh. There we go. Flap one, flap two. Oh, it, it has this like a little like flap that folds down so it rolls out on top of it. Move this back a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah. It's just right out the box. All right. What do I do? I just do that. Okay. Oh yeah, it's it's fully assembled. Fully assembled. There it is. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Hold on. Let me get a get you a better look at it there. Uh, hold on. Got to move the goddamn. Box out of the way. Hold on, I gotta take my headphones off. All right. Get out of here. Come on. You get in there. You stay in there. There we go. All right. That was the other part of the box. Come here. Close enough. That'll do. Alright. Hit. Hit. Okay. And there it is. There it is. $1,500 of chair right there. And it's fully out of the box. Apparently ready to go. Uh, there's plastic on the... Plastic on these here. Take it off. Okay. Oh, well. All right. Oh, they all they oh they perforated. Is these perforated? Maybe. There we go. Okay. Yep. 
All right. This. And to protect the knob. Protect the ball. All right. Okay. And there you have it. Fully assembled, fully taken apart. Herman Miller Logitech. Uh what are they calling it? I forgot. There's the back. Oh look at that. Look at that. Look at that bionics like fucking Cyborg spine support there. Yeah. Isn't that cool? All right. So, adjusting the chair. We have we have an instruction manual. <laughs> I, it's so tiny. I'm so tiny. Okay. Well, here's a here's a couple of things that you have to that is important to mention. One, um, I already have a Herman Miller chair and it's great. Two, invest in the things that um you want to last a long time. A good car, a bed office chair that you use a lot invest in things that you use a lot to last you a long time because in, in the long run it'll be cheaper than buying a 300 dollars chair every two years this one has a 12 year fucking warranty 12 year warranty man anything like fucks up breaks on accident in this chair like it's got a 12 year warranty also has a 30 day return policy Yeah, don't skimp on the things that touch your butt. Exactly. Yeah, don't skimp on anything that goes between you and the ground. Shoes, tires, chair, bed. Good good call, yeah. Zeke is impressionable and someone said this was a good idea. No. Yes. I don't know. Am I? Am I impressionable? Maybe I am. Someone tell me. What the fuck? They gave me a poster? Is this, do they send these to all the people and the pe the only people who actually have to like hang it up are people who are sponsored by Logitech or Herman Miller? Like, we're going to send you a poster and you better hang it up. You better put it on your wall. <laughs> uh, hype train level 30, uh, level three, 36 subs, 800 bits. Thank you, Lee. Thank you everybody for joining in that hype train. Okay. So that is not an instruction manual. There it is. Okay, the instruction manual is right here. Here we go. So, if I want to adjust my chair, shall we consult the manual? Okay, that's in Spanish. Okay, there's English. Okay. As pioneers, wait. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me let me get proper the proper cadence and, and weight to this. As pioneers of ergonomic design and world leaders in gaming technology, Herman Miller and Logitech G have joined forces to create a gaming chair like no other. The two companies have combined decades of research and design to scientifically advance the way you play with a partnership centered on creating the next generation of ergonomic, high-quality gaming furniture. I present to you... The, what was the name of it again? The Embody? It is the Embody, but it's, it's something else now. <laughs> no, I know it's the Embody, but it's, it's, doesn't it have a, it's the body by, Blo by Bowflex. <laughs> did I not like, did they not change the title? Herman Miller Logitech, oh, G Embody gaming chair. It's the G Embody. So if you're a G, 
and you know it. You really want to show it. Now, hold on a second. This, this manual, this does not come with, like, how to adjust the chair? Like, there's nothing about adjusting, wait, hold on, maybe I didn't read far enough, hold on, let me read further in. Oh, adjustment instructions. Oh, for information adjusting your chair, visit hermanmiller.com slash embody dash gaming dash chair. Okay. Herman Miller embody adjustment. There we go. Adjustment guide. There. It is. Nope. 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 That's a different. That's a completely different website. Aha. Okay. Here we go. So we raise the seat. There is some right here. Nope. We pull it. Wait. Angle the joystick. They call it a joystick. I love it. Angle. Uh, what is this? A fucking instruction booklet for ants? There we go. Joystick. Front of the seat. Oh, right here. Angle it. Fully. Tilt the tension knob right side. I'm I, like this. This thing. This little. Oh, shit. My camera fucked up, huh? Camera fucked. Great. 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 That's exactly what I want right now. My camera to stop working. Oh, God. It fucking reset. You've got to be kidding me, man. And the funny thing is, it's a Logitech camera. <laughs> Isn't that coincidental? A kawinky dink, if you will. Okay. It's been kind of doing this a little bit. It might be, the camera itself might be on its last legs. It's pretty fucking old. I've been using it quite a long time. Also, why am I like super framey now? That's weird. <laughs> Hold on, what if I switch scenes? Hmm. Okay. I'm a very, yeah, I'm very, I'm a friendly ghost, indeed. There's nothing else on the USB bus, but I give it. That was on purpose. That freeze was on purpose. I give it its own USB hub because Logitech cameras don't like to share. And it doesn't like that hub at all. Surprised it's even showing up. Nope, it hates that hub. That's great. How about that one? You get an entire four USB hub to yourself, Logitech camera. Can you help me? Oh. Nope. Not gonna do it, huh? <laughs> ah, 
this is perfect. A perfect way to start my day. Yep, nope, hates that one too. Hates that one too. Well, that's nice. Okay. What if we gave you no extension cord now, even though you've been working just fine with a USB extension for a while now, nope, now you don't even see the camera. <laughs> now, now the camera is not even there anymore. Good, perfect. Nope, you don't even see it. It doesn't even register. That's beautiful. I love it. How about now? Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Just took a shit. A big old dumpy dump. I'm going to put you on another USB and you're going to like it. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like anything. Okay. Sorry, guys. I might need to buy an adapter. Look up fart smell like. Fool me once, Scott. Shame on you. Well, the only one it was working on before is the uh, the front one. So we'll we'll try and replug it into the front one and see if that does anything. Nope. I'm getting nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Is that why? Okay. Well, I have two I have two screens and there was a a properties and adjustments window open on this screen and I was looking at this screen cuz that's where the camera and OBS is. So, it wasn't registering because a window was open on this screen. So, yeah. That happened. Okay. I'm not framing anymore, which is nice. Okay. Just have to do all of my settings like I do any time I shut off my PC. Okay. Anyway, to adjust. Oh my God. <laughs> I almost fucking rolled over it. I almost rolled over, over the camera cord, God damn it. And unplugged it again. All right, so to adjust, there's this little joystick thing right here. That guy, that little blue thing right here. And it says like, move it up and down or around or something. Like, get it around. But I'm not sure. Do I have to unlock it? Okay. It says, angle the joystick fully. I don't know how more how much more full to angle the joy like I'm I'm fiddling with it. I'm I'm fiddling with the thing. <laughs> yeah, see? Right here.
I pull up hard on it. No, it, it, no. This honestly, it feels like I'd break it. This thing is like made of plastic. Yeah, I'm lifting my weight, Pagan Gods. Do you see my ass on the chair? Okay. Is there a lock or something that I have to undo? Maybe one of those new voice activated chairs. Try saying, my mommy spanks me when I do a doo-doo to adjust it. <laughs> That's, oh my God, what have I done? <sighs> what the f Fuck happened to my camera now! <laughs> oh, good lord. <sighs> I tell you what, man. Some days it doesn't pay to get out of bed. It is just taking a shit on me. And yes, I have to do all of the fucking settings over again. Thankfully, I've become very good at it. Why I only shut my cam or shut my PC down, fully down once a week. Oh, and I'm framey again. Hey, look at that. Nice and framey. Perfect. Whatever. Chair is sponsored by Logitech? No. It's their Logitech and Herman Miller co. They work together on a chair. I am not sponsored by either. And after today, I don't see it happening. Okay, so these are fairly easy. The, the arms go up and down. That's easy. Okay. They just pop out. All right. Now, oh, this is the chair. The uh, seat can go out further, which is nice for big butts. Big butts like mine. However, this little knob here. Is, I'm guessing it's supposed to. I miss a piece of plastic. Okay. What am I not doing here? This thing right here. It's supposed to let the chair go up. Chair up. Well, you twist it and it Okay. Yep, so there's the tilt tension. That's that you twist it for the tilt tension. The seat depth. Yep. The tilt limiter, right. But I want just the height. The first thing I want to adjust. Angle the joystick fully 
the joystick. It looks like a fucking joystick. Up. You angle it up. Yeah. Yeah. Looks fucking easy, doesn't it? Looks super simple. But it's not working. Okay, is he pulling it? He's pulling it out. Okay, so I'll show you. I'll pull it out. Out. Pull it out. just suddenly started working. I was cranking on that fucking thing. It's, it's got completely different movement now. Okay, whatever. I guess just, just fuck around with it. Like pull it and, and, you know, pull it and jimmy it and do all that stuff until it decides like, okay, it's like a nipple. It's like a nipple. You gotta like go around it and kind of tease it a little bit and then you play with it. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't. <laughs> I swear to you. Before Taco Reel in, everybody, that it was not doing that right off the bat. I had to like pull it or play with it or something, and then it, then it was able to be adjusted. I don't give a fuck if you believe me or not. I don't give a fuck if you believe me or not. I'm telling you, if you get one of these chairs, if you get an embodied chair with the joystick little thing and it doesn't work right away, wiggle it, not too hard. Wiggle it a little bit, pull on it a little bit. There will be no audible click. There will be nothing to indicate that you have unlocked it or whatever the fuck you've done. But suddenly it'll go up and down. There you go. That's that's my how-to video on the Logitech fucking <laughs> body chair. Anyway. Okay, so we got that part. We got the arms. They go in. Oh, let me angle it back down again so you can look at my crotch. Alright, the arms go in pretty easily. They go up, they go down. So you can adjust. How you like it? You like to be like, like seat belted in, show everybody your gut. That's how you do that. Okay. All right. So the tilt tension, right side of seat. Turn it. Okay. So that's for leaning back. How much give you want? So if you loosen it up. You get way more give when leaning back. Okay. Next is the seat depth. And we did that. That's the the two handles right here. Uh, maybe you can't see it. The two handles right here. You go up. You just grab them and slide back or slide forward. Well. Oh, you lift. Gently lift up the front. Handles on the right and left sides. You disengage the locking seat. There you go. Yep. So it's up, slide it out, up, slide it back, however you like it. The tilt limiter, left side behind the seat, which is recline. Whoa, and move tab up. 
Now that I'm used to. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. 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 Okay. That's that. Next is uh, the arm height. We already done the arm height. Back fit adjustment. That's a trademark. For a flat back, rotate forward. And that's on the seat here, right here. There we go. For a flat back, for a curved rotate back, I have a curved back. Rotate counterclockwise. Maybe we rotate forward here. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. All right. Yes, to adjust arm width, place two hands on one arm pad and pull uh, pull in, push out. Like that. Like that. Okay. All right. There it is. A little bit of a snafu. A little bit of uh, me, <laughs> a little bit of old man yelling at chair, but honestly, the seat feels, I mean, the seat is, is comfortable. Yeah. The seat is comfortable. It's very comfortable. However, the true test is the, is the, is the swamp ass test. So after a, a while of gaming, this is uh, said to have like cooling, like super cooling uh, gel in there. Can you get a headrest for it? Well, Sig, I've had headrests on chairs and I've, I've gone without, and I'll tell you, I never use them. I don't need them. And I would venture to say most people don't. Um, also, my camera is still framey, which I hate. How tall am I? I am six foot one. Six foot one, it's the Grizz. But I don't know, man. I'm already feeling like, well, maybe it's because I'm already sweating because the room is hot and I didn't cool it down before I started streaming today. But I'm wondering if uh, if this chair will be like swampy by the end of the day. We'll see. We'll see. What is six foot one in the rest world height? Uh, like three hundred centimeters, three hundred sixty-five, seventy, three hundred seventy centimeters. I really don't know. Am I way off? <laughs> How about 30? Is 30 closer? I'm like 30 centimeters. Is that, am I, is that more like it? <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, I'm 73 inches. Does that help? Or inches? What you want? I can, like, I'm six feet one, but I'm 73 inches. Does inches, is that better? <laughs> All right. Uh, I gotta, I gotta figure out why my camera is being a shit right now. Hold on. This gets a background noise going. I'm going to disconnect it and then reconnect it. There. <laughs> I mean, I fixed it. Don't ask me how. I just disconnected and reconnected and no more frame rate issues. Hooray. How's the chair feel? It feels really good. Like it's super comfortable. I feel like I could, I honestly feel like I could sit in this all day. However, I 
I want to check, like, on the breaks, I think I should take, like, a time lapse, like, every break that I take, I'll take a photo of the seat and see, like, if, like, there's the two, like, butt cheek stains, like, sweat marks go, like, throughout the day. Because I'm, I'm honestly, like, that's the, that's my biggest concern. The thing that I love about my Aeron, the mesh chair, is the mesh. I never have to worry about swamp ass at all. Or, uh, what do you call it? I've, I've always called it swamp ass. I've heard it called monkey butt. Because there's a monkey butt powder that you can get. Swamp ass. Crotch rot. I've used monkey butt powder when I was, um, believe it or not, for about a year, two years there, I was a, I was a jogger. I'd run every morning and I lost a lot of weight. However, like I'd get home and I'd be all sweaty. My balls would have like be like chafing, like the, 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 the crease between your, your legs, the between your balls and your leg, it would start like chafing and I'd have to use the monkey butt powder. Or gold bond, you know, gold bond, same thing, same diff. Talcum powder, sure, same thing. Yep, it's just like powder, baby powder, whatever you want to call it. Um. Anywho, you guys want to play a video game now, maybe? <laughs> don't put tiger balm, are you insane? I don't know what that is. Monkey butt powder rocks, get bamboo underwear with a pouch for no more swamp ass. Well, Scribble, I don't wear underwear. I do when I'm jogging, but I don't uh, normally wear them. They serve almost no function for me since I got, shit, since I got rid of the, the uh, gaming chairs and switched to mesh. I don't have like a sweat issue down there anymore, so. Or ha I haven't, but. All right, oh shit, I forgot my Herman. My Herman's back here still. I gotta get him out of the frame. You're old and busted. Get out of here. How do I? No, how do I make you go down? I gotta sit in you. Hold on, let me sit in you. Ah, there we go. Now it should be should be hidden back there, right? Because of the green screen? <laughs> you can see the, the arm here. Okay. Back! Back, demon! Back you go! Back into hell! There we go. Okay, one more. Okay. All right. Ah. <sighs> Wait, Zeke had another Herman already? Why the fuck did he get the Logitech one? Sig, because I want the best. I want the best of the best chairs. Also, whatever one I'm not going to be using, CK will use it, because she needs a new chair anyway. So that's kind of, that was kind of my thinking. It wasn't because like I'm just like, ha ha, just burning my life. Fuck it, give me all the chairs. It's, it's also because uh, CK needed one. <laughs> 